Nuclear waste is a huge problem. Peter Bergell, director of Oregon Peaceworks in Salem, Oregon, has been involved with nuclear issues for over three decades. The problem of what happens to nuclear waste after it's created has been the Achilles heel of the nuclear power industry ever since the beginning, and also it's the Achilles heel of the continued involvement of the military in weapons production. We have these huge stocks of radioactive waste uh, stored all over the country uh, as a result of the nuclear weapons production and as a result of uh, commercial nuclear power that are extremely dangerous to people. The problem is where to put it where it can be kept away from the environment for a, a very long time. Any uh, nuclear waste that contains plutonium-239 uh, is especially uh, important from this point of view because plutonium-239 has a 24,400 year half-life and what that means is that it will be dangerous for at least 20 half-lives which gets up into the uh, quarter of a million year uh, range. So that's a responsibility that human beings have never taken on before and we have already seen that the nuclear industry has been very um, unsuccessful at keeping this material out of the environment so far and has been quite irresponsible about it at times. Uh, the example of uh, the claim at Hanford, for example, that the nuclear waste would be uh, safe the, in the storage there for 10,000 years was widely made in the, um, in the latter half of the 20th century. But um, radioactive materials have already leached through the soil, got down to the water table, and made it to the Columbia River, even as we speak. The plan for the commercial wastes <clears throat> is a storage facility in uh, Yucca Mountain in southern Nevada, just off the, uh, the edge of the border of the Nevada test site, where all the nuclear weapons were tested from the 50s up until the late 90s. If Yucca Mountain were to open, it would take, it would accept a volume of waste that would perhaps be equivalent to what we currently have. This will not deal with nuclear waste produced in the future, uh, even by the plants that are currently operational, let alone if we were to uh, develop more nuclear plants. We're talking about managing materials for periods of times that are completely unprecedented. Uh, it has been suggested after much study that this waste should be disposed of in deep geologic repositories, which is like a deep mine and you put the waste in a cask and you dispose it off. But the problem is, how do you estimate the impact on future generations? How do we know if it's going to be all right with them? Just in the last 50 years, 50 years ago, it wasn't thought that radiation was that dangerous as we think today. The risks of ra radiation today are considered to be much higher than they were just a few decades ago. What are we going to think about radiation and chemicals and combinations of them a hundred years from now? Not to talk of a hundred thousand years from now. So we've got ourselves a regulatory mess in terms of an environmental protection mess in terms of thinking about how we're going to protect our children. So we're enjoying the fruits we're enjoying the electricity, and if you believe nuclear weapons provide you with security, which I don't, but just for the moment, to, uh, for the sake of argument, we're creating this very long-lived waste, and so we say we enjoy electricity and we enjoy security, but we dump our wastes and their management and the pollution from them onto our kids and their kids. And I don't think that's a very good moral framework for society.